Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to parts of Amberlin's July 2nd vlog. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So, normally, you know, I'd be coming at you with like, hey, day 10 and no takeout. But I can't say that today. No, I can't. I under ate yesterday, hardcore and my body and my mind felt it. And when I under eat, I, I don't know what happens, but I don't, I don't know how to say no. And I tried for hours. I kept telling myself, don't do it, don't do it. Just make something at home. But then it was like so late and my fast had already been going for a few hours and all this mess, you know, I ended up ordering takeout, I did. I ordered McDonald's, I did. Um, I obviously, I, I regret it. I feel a little bit of guilt. I thought she was eating the right amount for her body intuitively, so she stopped counting calories. Now she was eating too little, and she had an extreme urge to get McDonald's that she couldn't say no to while she could just get some raw veggies from her fridge. This sounds familiar, but who am I to point that out? But I also know this is a lifestyle change. I never gave myself like an exact, you know, number of how long I want to go without takeout, nothing like that. So I didn't fail anything. There was nothing to fail. She didn't set a time on her no takeout thing because it was supposed to be just not even an option anymore. That was the lifestyle change she was making. The question now is if she is going to continue the way she did before getting McDonald's or if this will mess with her normal routine. But I definitely did want to come on here and be like, yay, day 10, but it's the first day where I ate during my fasting, I had takeout, but I didn't get a soda. So I'm still on day 10, no soda. It happened. And I woke up and I was like, damn, I feel it in my body. I gained some weight. I, like, you know, like when you wake up and you feel a little swollen after a day of eating something maybe you shouldn't have, maybe too much sodium or whatever. I did. I, I gained a pound and I said, damn. But like I said, lifestyle change. I figured I would come on here because I'm just getting so many people like having conspiracies around every last thing that I say, regardless of like what it is. And it just gets heavy. <laughs> it gets heavy, it gets frustrating. But I think with something as serious as my weight loss surgery, I definitely want to show receipts. Um, I'm actually gonna be showing the emails between me and my dietitian. This is something that is like, can't be faked. I could completely get sued for faking something like this. The weight loss clinic knows about my YouTube channel. They have seen my videos. <laughs> they have literally seen my videos. They know about me. Um, there is actually a couple people who literally work there or have worked there who know about me. Um, so me talking about my weight loss journey and everything around it, from the very beginning, everything has been completely true. You guys know that I change my mind fast. <laughs> I am in and out of diets quicker than most people are in and out of their underwear. Let's be real. The fact that I wanted weight loss surgery for six months when there wasn't even a moment where I didn't want it is actually a big victory. A victory just because you actually wanted to get something for six months, is she forgetting that she was not actively doing anything regarding weight loss in those six months? Just thinking that you want it and having appointments related to your health is not enough, and she knew that very early on, still she could not lose the weight. She has not been victorious in her weight loss surgery journey for six months, and the fact that she quit before she was supposedly going to be approved makes this even less of something she can be proud of. Going to therapy was a nice bonus she got, but it seems this whole journey changed her outlook on her problems, but didn't provide any solutions. And here we are, back at a new beginning of a diet and lifestyle change, maybe she will want this one for eight months before quitting. In my opinion, and very new for me because I do 
change things. I fixate on things. I change my mind really fast. It's just who I am as a person. It happens with everything in my life. And the fact that I wanted weight loss surgery so bad that I paid for out of pocket for a lot of the tests because my insurance didn't didn't cover it. Um, therapy out of pocket. I have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars trying to get weight loss surgery because it's truly what I wanted. Spending the money was easy. Going to the appointments was easy. Getting therapy was new, and I hope that actually helped her, but none of it was as hard as losing weight and taking control of her eating disorder, or she would have done that by now. And the minute I realized, I'm not ready, this isn't something I want right now, I knew, because this isn't just, oh, I'm not ready to start another day on Jenny Craig. No, this is like, I'm not ready to go under anesthesia and have a large chunk of my stomach taken out. I'm not ready for that. And the minute I knew that, I kind of got scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And I pulled away a little bit and I still wanted to complete my therapy because that's important to me. Like I'm still seeing the same therapist. I'm not gonna stop seeing him. Thoroughly love, <laughs> like I need, I, I need therapy. But when I realized I wasn't ready, I knew I needed to vocalize that to my weight loss team. It is interesting to hear she did not feel ready because of the surgery self and not because of her mental state or struggles with food. I think she is scared of surgery and that it will take a lot to convince her to get it. So in my opinion, she is not going to be ready anytime soon. If she loses weight, she will take it as a sign that she doesn't need weight loss surgery and if she stays her size, she will be too scared because of the health risks from surgery at her weight. And me and my dietitian, we, we correspond a lot through email. So I felt safe. I felt safe enough to tell her. So she's the person I chose to tell. Um, so I'm going to show you the email I sent her. And then I'm going to show you the email she replied back with. So there was more emails that went back and forth between me and her after that, but those are just like the two main ones that began the conversation of me not wanting to do weight loss surgery anymore. So many people still believe that either A, I was denied, which I wasn't, or B, that the weight loss surgery storyline was falsified, that it wasn't even real. And that's not true. I will stick with that she canceled her next appointment and is quitting right now because she has not been denied yet, and if she quits on her own now she can say she has not been denied weight loss surgery, she knew she had gained weight, and she knew she would probably be denied if she made an appointment with the weight loss surgeon. Getting weight loss surgery isn't trying to choose what nail color you want on your pinky toe. Getting weight loss surgery is a major decision, and they even tell you that if you have doubts at all, don't get the surgery. Don't get the surgery because you're going to fail. And the fact that I was having so many doubts, I did everything that they told me to do. You did not lose weight. They wanted you to lose one pound and you didn't. They wanted you to lose four pounds and you didn't. And that was one of the things. And the fact that I was having so many doubts and I was so disconnected and I just did not want it anymore. I know that I'm not ready. I had to say something and I have shared a good chunk of this uh, weight loss surgery journey with you guys and it's just so insulting just for people to take all that vulnerability and just like throw it in the trash. Amberlyn truly thinks that she has done everything in her power to get weight loss surgery when the only thing she really needed to do was take control of her eating disorder and in my opinion, she has not done that at all. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.